Hello, my name is Claudia and I work with Arapahoe County CSU Extension here in Colorado. We are getting ready to start our STEM kitchen science experiment. So we're in my kitchen and we're going to be doing some fun science experiments that you guys can do at home with some household items that most all of us have inside our kitchens or pantries or uh, various locations in our house. So we look forward to doing some fun experiments with you. So in this experiment, we are going to replicate an earthquake and we're going to build a structure that we hope to withstand the earthquake. So we're going to need a few things for this experiment. You are going to need a box. Now it can be just a regular cardboard box um, or a plastic tote like this one. You're going to need some tennis balls or other similarly sized balls. You could have golf balls in there, other toy balls that you may have at your home. You'll need a plate, uh, toothpicks or spaghetti noodles, uncooked, marshmallows, and you can also even use Tinker Toys if you have those as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to build a structure that we hope to withstand our earthquake machine here that we have. So to build the earthquake machine, what you do is you just take tennis balls and you'll put into the bottom of the box. Now you don't want to fill it all the way up. You want to make it to where there's a little bit of space in there so the balls can move around when we start shaking it for our, our earthquake. So on our plate, we're going to build our structure. Now, this structure can be uh, whatever you want it to be. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to use toothpicks and marshmallows. Uh, again, you can use Tinker Toys to build a structure if you'd like. You can try a variety of different structures even. But what we'll start out with is we're going to just create a small structure here. And the way we do that is we just connect marshmallows and toothpicks to one another. So we start out with a base. And if you think about houses and buildings, they all have some type of foundation. And that foundation is what supports that building uh, to exist. So it, it helps to keep it upright. It's the basis for that building or structure. So our foundation that I'm going to make is just a little square here. And I'm just using the toothpicks to connect between the marshmallows. Just like that. Now, when you build your structure, you can make it as tall as you want. Um, I would suggest making it at least five inches tall. Um, and you can use a measuring tape to measure that off. But you want something that has a little bit of of height to it because we want to see how it's going to do when our earthquake happens. So I'm going to grab the structure that I've already built um, and we'll test it out here. So this is my structure that I already built and I just again connected the toothpicks to make a small house. Now if you have toys that you want to put inside here you can. Um, I have a little cow that I'm going to put inside my house. So my cow is in the house right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our plate with our structure in it in our earthquake machine. Now the way our earthquake machine works is those balls move but we're also going to move it back and forth. So we just start out just lightly moving it back and forth. Now, as I said, you can try different building materials. If you have Legos, Tinker Toys, you can build with spaghetti noodles. There's a variety of ways that you can build a structure. And the neat thing is, is I think you should try to make your structure as tall as you can and do different experiments to see just how tall of a structure you can make in order um, and for it to still stand up. So you can get a little bit more aggressive with your shaking. So 
So far, our structure is doing really well. So we built a pretty strong structure for our earthquake. Now what I want you guys to do is I want to see some of those structures that you've built and see how high of a structure, how tall of a structure you can build that's still going to withhold our earthquake simulator. 